Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and we're continuing our study of embedded systems design. And we're looking at the digital I.O. system of the MSP430 FR2355. And in this video, we're finally going to, act to write a program which is going to access the outside world. So we're going to go back to blinking LED1, and we'll actually do it without a delay. We'll just kind of step through. And we'll, the reason I want to do it this way is to just to really look at the registers within the, the debugger and see what's going on. OK. All right. So here's what we got to do. The steps are configuration registers. We got to initialize them. Then we got to take it out of low power mode. And then within our main program, we we can actually turn it on and turn it off. OK. So first and foremost, you we are going to configure port one bit zero as an output, okay? And the reason that we want to do that is because if you look at the launchpad board, LED one is right here and it is port one bit zero. So that's the port. So all in it, the way that the circuitry works is all we have to do is configure it as an output and write a one to it and the LED will turn on. And that's, that's it. And then we write a zero to it and it'll turn off. Okay. So then really all we have to do is turn it to a, an output and then we don't need to do any other configuration because the other configuration registers were, you know, is it going to be, if it's an input, do you want to pull up resistor? Well, it's not an input. Uh, do we need to choose the function of the pin using the select registers, the port select registers so that we use the pin on the MCU as a port? And it turns out that the default setting for all the MCU IO is the port function. Okay. So we actually can use the default for that. So really the setup for this is quite simple. We just turn it to an output and then we take it out of low power mode and then we drive it. But remember, we want to use all the names in the header file. So we're going to use, uh, yeah, we're going to use descriptive names. Okay. So let's fire up code composer and we'll begin. Plug in your MSP430 board, and we're going to do file new, and then CCS project. And let's go ahead and call this ASM, and then we'll go dig IO, and then uh, outputs and LEDs. Okay. All right. And we make sure our MCU is correct. We're going to go on main, empty main assembly. <clears throat> and it's firing up and it's going to bring us our empty main. Okay. All right. So life is good. We're going to come down here and now we kind of have this, you know, we always had the main label. Uh, we're going to start having initialization. So I'm going to put an init label there just for readability. And this is going to represent code or instructions that run one time when you first start your program. And then you'll get into your main loop down here where we'll do like the jump main. Okay, so this is our infinite loop down here, and this is just one time startup code. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna first do. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna set uh, P1 DIR, and I'm gonna go bit zero to output. Okay, and this is our main setup for this. So I'm gonna go bit set dot B. Okay, now I'm, I'm operating on these as port one, port two, port three. And remember, those are eight bit. Uh, ports, 8-bit location. So we want to do byte-wise operations when we set these up. And now I'm going to do pound, and I could do this. I absolutely could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, boom, binary, and then say ampersand P1DIR. So this instruction would work. And notice that I used the descriptive label that comes from the header file, and it also matches kind of what comes out of the family data sheet. And this is great. And this is descriptive. So if I'm going to put, this is exactly what I could do right here. I could also do uh, zero, 01 hex, or I could do this, bit zero. And you're where in the world did bit zero come from? This is a name definition that is set up in the header file for you. And I we looked at that last time where you have all these different things set up in there. And that's great. And if you didn't remember where that is, you come over here. And you expand this and you go under includes and then you come down here and you go into your includes folder. And then this is the monster. You know, this guy right here is. 
there's this huge, huge thing right here, and then you scroll down, and you finally find the FR2355. So FR2355 right here, and you've got the header. <clears throat> it's like, you really want to do this? Let's see if bit zero's in here. Okay, so here's, look at these definitions. Bit zero is simply zero, it's zero, 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 one hex. And so I can use that. And then you go, well, what, isn't this an eight bit operation? It's like, it don't matter. If you lead with zeros on a number, it just ignores it. Okay, so I just turned it into an output. Now the next thing we gotta do is we need to clear the lock LPM five bit in the power module five control register. Again, we haven't even covered what the power, the control register is, uh, but I know that I need to do this. LPM5, and what this does is it, and then we go ampersand, PM5, CTL0. And unfortunately, this is just one of these things where you have to do it. <clears throat> the data sheet tells you to do it, uh, and you do it, really don't understand it, other than what it does is it takes IO system out of LPM, which is low power mode, and high Z inputs. And so this, this basically turns the entire digital IO system on. Okay? And that would be a way better comment. So <laughs> turn on digital IO. <clears throat> okay, ready? Well, yeah, that, here we are. So now I don't know what value is going to be on the LED right now, because when I do this, the, P, the out port for port one, I don't know what it's at. It might start up and be a one, might start up and be a zero. So let's do a bit set. <clears throat> and usually it'd be good practice to go ahead and put like a starting value in the LED or on the LED, but let's just, we don't really need to. So let's just, for this example, so let's now do this. I'm gonna go bit set, <clears throat> pound bit zero, and then ampersand and the register name is P1 out. And that is going to turn on LED one. And that is that port one bit zero. <clears throat> It's like, okay, well, that was cool. Now let's just bit clear, pound bit zero, ampersand port one out. And this is gonna turn off LED one, which is on port one bit zero. <clears throat> and that's it, okay? So now let's fire this up. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it and debug it. And let's see, now our, we got our board over here. LED one is gonna be right there. And I'm going to step this thing. Okay, so it's working, it's working. And off we go. Okay, so let's come down here and let's do this. Set a breakpoint at our first instruction. And then let's run to it. <clears throat> okay. And now I'm gonna, let's step down to the main program where it's actually interesting. So I'm gonna go step, did some setup, step, did some setup. Turns out the LED's on by default. <laughs> it's on initially this time, but we we do that to turn it on, do that to turn it off, and look at what's happening. So now I'm just turn it, jump, turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off, turn on, turn off, and we did it, life is good. Okay, here's one other thing I wanna show you. Uh, <clears throat> When I.O. doesn't work, it's just, it, you can't see it, right? So like, oh, I wrote a whole program, the LED didn't come on. It's very difficult to debug by looking at the, the LEDs. And so you can actually go up and look at, at all the registers um, for the peripherals up here in the register viewer. So I have core registers. I've been looking at the CPU core, uh, you know, the 15 registers in there. But actually, you can look at port one, <clears throat> and you can come in here, and you can see the values that are in there. And so I, if I go ahead, I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to show you the uh, <clears throat> the setup to turn this into an output, and let's watch the step in the debugger. And so you can see that this actually is doing the right thing. So I downloaded my program again, and I'm going to run to the breakpoint, and now I'm sitting here right here. <clears throat> if I come up here and go back to, uh, I want port one, and this instruction is going to configure port one direction data direction register. So let's put this in uh, binary, and here's what's gonna happen. If I step now, boom, <clears throat> I just set that bit. That's what turned port one bit zero into an output. Okay, and then we step again, and here's this. And now let's take a look at this. I've got port one out, and I have port in. I'm gonna put both of those in, uh, in binary. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step, 
And look, it turned it to a one, turned it to a zero, turned it to a one, turned it to a zero. Notice that I'm only altering the, the least significant bit because I'm only doing a bit set on that particular bit. Port one out actually had some values up here that were stuck at some other, at some values from before, but I don't care, I'm not using those, okay? I'm not using them, and in addition, they're not outputs anyway, because I didn't configure them. But notice that port one in tracks the change on port one out when I have it configured as an output, okay? So it's like, it's pretty cool. All right, so then uh, let's see, what else could we do here that's kind of interesting? Uh, you could actually put, you can actually turn on <laughs> the LED manually. If I come out here and did this and I hit return, I just turned it on. So I can actually type directly in here <clears throat> and turn on and off the LED. So do you see how I'm doing that? This is pretty cool because sometimes you might have code down here and you just, you wrote something that doesn't make any sense. And you could go and make, you could actually go manually configure the configuration registers and then try to get your code to match what you're actually doing in here. So the debugger is, is pretty powerful in that regards. Okay, well you did it. You now have the ability to drive an LED uh, and actually you have the ability to drive all the ports and, and it, it is pretty simple on the outputs. Okay, that's it, congrats. And remember, support my channel by subscribing so that I can continue to bring you these videos. See ya.